Joining us to kick off the hour is Brian Railing. He is Global Head of Fixed Income Strategy at Wells Fargo Investment Institute and Keith Fitzgerald, Principal at the Fitzgerald Group. Keith, I will start with you. I'm not being cynical about the rally. It is a good day in what has been a tough year, but I just wonder if stocks deserve to have, deserving got nothing to do with it, if stocks should be moving up this much on a slightly lower inflation number. Well, should be and are are two obviously very different questions. You know, this is something that's very interesting to investors because there will be no warning bell when the Fed lets off or inflation begins to moderate. So what you're seeing today is par for the course. People want in. They want good news to actually be good. So I love what I'm seeing. Whether it sticks or not is a different question. Brian, what do you think? Will this stick? Has inflation peaked? Will the Fed turn dovish? I mean, I don't think the Fed's turning dovish. I think inflation has peaked. Uh, but, um, you know, this is going to be uh, an up and down process. But, you know, I think we're in the process of finding the peak in yields. So, um, you know, I think overall, yeah, good news. But, no, this isn't just smooth sailing. Yeah, I, I should probably get the word dovish out of our lexicon because it's like a, there's a big difference between a hawk and a dove. There's falcons. There's owls. You know, other birds of prey. I mean, the Fed is still going to raise rates in December. Are they not, Keith? Well, I think so. I mean, look at it this way. The Fed got transitory wrong. The Fed has gotten this wrong. So why on earth are we even looking to what the Fed's going to do? They have a history of overshooting. So I think that's a foregone conclusion. Personally, what I'd like to do, especially on days like today, is pick those strong names, look for the CEOs that are putting numbers up on the table and who are already ahead of where this is going. Guys, sit tight. We're going to come right back to you. We're not letting you go, but we do have an auction on 30-year bonds. Pretty good indicator of demand and where people think inflation may be going. Rick Santelli, how did that 30-year bond auction go? How do you grade it, Professor? Exactly the opposite of yesterday, Sully. Yesterday was a D minus. Today is a solid A. Boy, this is what an auction should look like. And I'll tell you what, when you see yields drop as much as they have prior to the auction, I have to tell you I was a bit surprised at the aggressiveness of investors. So let's go through it. 21 billion 30 years to yield. 4.08, the when issued market yield was hovering at 4.11. So turn the screws three basis points, the exact opposite of tailing, and that's a good thing. And if you look at all the metrics, they were very good. The one that really stuck out, though, was the dealer takedown. Sully, the 10 auction average is 13%. I have 20 years of history here, and I cannot find a better, a smaller takedown by the dealer community. So a solid A, and it really goes a long way in telling us not only do equity investors and foreign exchange investors pay close attention to this morning's numbers, but the aggressive tendencies of this auction shows that many investors think that the trend of less inflation most likely will continue. Back to you. Rick, thank you. Not sure I can remember the last time Rick gave anything an A. I mean, who, who knows? Uh, Brian, forget about inflation. Do you think that Yields on the 30 and the 10 year have peaked? I think there's a decent chance they peaked. I think it's a good point to accumulate, maybe not on a day like today uh, where yields have crashed lower, but you know, I think we'll be back up around the fours. Um, and I'd be locking in rates for the long term. I mean, if the Fed gets inflation down, uh, you know, to two and a half or below, you know, a four percent. Uh, locked in rate is going to look really good. I mean, the best trade back in uh, the early 80s was buying long bonds.